mandala. It's a Sanskrit word meaning circle and also meaning to have possession of one's essence. At base, it is a sacred circle with a center point, an image that has been a source of the experience of oneness and wisdom in many cultures the world over. Its symbolic forms draw out truth from the unconscious and connect our inner life to our outer life. The circle represents wholeness. Drawing a mandala evokes an attitude of receptivity and reverence. The one drawing is plumbing for and recording the inner self at one moment in time. Mandalas touch layers of the mind which may otherwise be hidden from us. The great psychoanalyst Carl Jung drew mandalas in his notebooks, finding that such drawings made visible his own psychic transformations from day to day. Gradually, he came to find the mandala to be a mirror of the psyche in its totality, and he incorporated mandalas into his practice with patience. The mandala is both whole and fractured at the same time, just like us human beings. To make a mandala, you could try freehanding or use a compass to make concentric circles to use as guidelines. Find a quiet place for about 30 minutes. Begin at the center with whatever form suggests itself to you. Work outward from the center. When you are finished, date it and give it a title. Maybe make a journal entry about the experience of drawing it. For more about mandala spiritual practice, see the post at cucmatters.org. The link is in your e-communitarian. <laughs>